My name is Adiola Olayton. I am a gynaecological oncologist. A gynaecological oncologist is a surgeon who specialises in the treatment of gynaecological cancers. I work at the University College London Hospital. The University College Hospital is a gynaecological cancer centre. That means I work within a team of experts who are recognised as being at the forefront of clinical care and research in this field. I want to talk about cervical cancer because this is Cervical Cancer Awareness Week. We're very fortunate in this country in that we have a very good screening system that protects women against cervical cancer. You probably all know what I'm talking about when I mention the word screening because you've probably all at some point received your letter asking you to come and have your smear. Now don't file that letter away, go and have your smear because it is really important the reason why smears can protect against cervical cancer is that there are changes, there can be changes in the cervix, which are not cancer, but if left undetected for many years, can develop into cervical cancer. These changes have no symptoms associated with them, so if we didn't screen for them, you wouldn't know anything about it. Screening is done by a simple process of taking cells off the surface of the cervix, so the doctor and nurse will look at the cervix of a small instrument and with a soft brush take some cells off the surface which are sent to the lab to be analysed. Now the vast majority of women will have a smear report which is normal and that is reassuring. Occasionally you will come, your, your letter will come back saying that your smear is abnormal. This is nothing to panic about because these changes can be treated completely. Now the first thing to recognise is that a smear is only a screening test. So if you have a negative smear, it says that you are likely not to have a problem with the cervix. If you have an abnormal smear, it says that you're highly likely to have a problem with your cervix. And then you are referred for the specific test, which is called colposcopy. Colposcopy is not dissimilar to having a smear done. It's the same instrument looking at the cervix, but in addition, the doctor will look at your cervix with a magnifying device, which will show up if there are any suspicious areas and the doctor may then want to take a sample from these areas. That's sent to the lab, and if the lab confirms that there is no 